When you first signed on to the project mm -hmm. for um, Planet, of the, Planet of the Apes, mm -hmm. um, did you expect it to get this much recognition? Well, the first one we signed on to was a few years ago now, and uh, you know, you know, you just never know. But I just really liked the story. I remember just reading the script, thinking this is great, and I loved the original films. And the chance to like bring the apes alive in a new way uh, was just something really appealing. And getting to work with Andy Circus on it as well was great. You know, we've worked with Andy uh, a lot before that, and and a lot more since then and uh, all those things just came together and that's that's really what it was all about having the recognition for it is is nice once it's all done right. yeah. and one um, group that I know that you've made really happy are animal activists um, because you don't use any live animals it's all digital although it looks mm -hmm. so real how long does it take to create an ape it takes a long time especially at the beginning uh, it, it took you know just to figure out how to get an ape to look like an ape was months and months of work well over you know six months and then when you're into production you'll spend at least that much time trying to work out how to make sure everything works in context of the story and the performance and the cinematography and and all that so it's it's uh it's still a pretty involved process yeah, yeah. These these movies that you know they're, they they hinge on the performance of the characters. They're at their heart. They're you know they're big action blockbusters, but they're they're really character pieces. And so one of the challenges is figuring out like you've got this animal character. How do you make an audience connect with it? How do what sort of facial expressions can you make work on an animal's face in order for you as a human you know to respond to it in a way that you're emotionally empathetic with it? So that's mm -hmm. that was one of the things that you know even on this last film, it's the third in a franchise, but we're still we're watching you know the actor Andy Serkis make certain facial expressions that we're like oh man how are we going to get that to work on Caesar's face so we're constantly refining the characters right up until the you know the end of the movie to make sure that they they work emotionally what is the process like um, like with the the director from start to finish is there anything that stands out to you about this film or these films in general well what we've tried to do with these films is uh, to make them as much like live action as possible. That's the idea behind using performance capture. So, you know, when Matt Reeves is directing, he's directing his actors. He's directing Andy Serkis. You know, he's directing Steve Zahn. He, he's directing Woody Harrelson. They're all working together. So we've made it so that it's no different than making a normal live action film. And the editors take that, and that's what they work with. Those are the performances they see every day. And while they're crafting the film on that end, we're turning those performances gradually into the eight performances. And as this is a Film Critics Award ceremony, mm -hmm. um, what has your relationship been like with film critics? Is it a love-hate relationship? <laughs> is it? Um, do you see the value of film criticizing? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, we criticize our work pretty heavily all day long, so <laughs> we're quite used to it. And uh, it's it's you know it's always great to see what people think about it. I especially um, appreciate it when people. Uh, sort of dig underneath the hood and understand what the craft is and can talk about you know what what we did and look if people find mistakes I'm, I'm happy to see them pointed out hopefully we got them all before they get out in the world but you know you never know yeah and we've been really lucky I mean it's been such a great franchise and the critics yeah. have been really you know really kind to us um, mm -hmm. and I think that you know that speaks to just the quality of the people we've collaborated with we've had really good directors and writers and and actors that have all come together um, to make you know what are I think pretty special films. Well, thank you. Thanks, Maria. Thank you. Enjoy the show.